Hi, my name is Lizzie, and I bet you can't guess what I'm gonna talk about today. Hamilton! All right, let me get on here. That was me jumping on the bandwagon. So yes, I finally listened to Hamilton and I am obsessed with it, like everyone else. I mean, I knew they were rapping about Alexander Hamilton, but I didn't quite understand until I listened to it. And I realized that it was ridiculous and genius at the same time. I learned more from this play than I did in school, learning about American history. I was listening to the soundtrack while reading along in the Wikipedia page so I could follow the story and I didn't want to read ahead because I was afraid I would spoil it for myself. Spoil it for myself. History that happened over 200 years ago. Once again, today I'm going to play casting director and I'm gonna cast Hamilton with YouTubers. I don't know if you guys know this, but in Hamilton, some people play multiple characters. So I've kept that in mind when making my decisions. So the first character I cast is Philip slash John Lawrence. I cast Nathan Zed, the third pew, 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 pew. He's like 12, so he could definitely play a child. But he also, if he grows out his beard, he's like a 40 year old man. I don't understand it, but he definitely has that lovable little child that you want to take care of and you don't want to die vibe. You can write rhymes, but you can't write mine. For Hercules Mulligan, I cast Alpha Cat. Now, obviously, he's become a lot bigger on Vine recently, but he was a YouTuber first. He's been on Epic Rap Battles of History, so obviously, you know he can rap. He just seems like a big, tough, Hercules Mulligan type of guy, you know what I'm saying? For President Washington, I cast Kevin from Pentatonix. Kevin just seems like he can put off that sort of regal but not regal, you know, pre presidential vibe that he, he has order and he can command and he can sing. There's nothing better than a president who can lead and who can sing. Those are my requirements. Can Donald Trump sing? I don't think so. So Peggy and Maria are played by the same person, Peggy Schuyler and Maria Reynolds, and I didn't want to throw shade at anybody because I didn't want to cast someone in a role that was this controversial. I didn't want anyone to think that I thought of them in an ill way um, because this role, it, it's demanding, and it's demanding that you are very sensual. So I thought about a lot of people and I decided to cast someone who would bring a whole new light to this role. Someone who would take the dirty and make it wholesome and not porn. So I cast Miranda Sings as Maria and Peggy. <laughs> that is porn! Are you kidding? That was a test! You are porn! Get out of here! Moving on to King George. James mentioned crab sticks for this role and I wasn't really that familiar with him. I would never really watched his videos and then I just did and boom. King George. He would excel in that role. He would just take it and go way further than you needed to go, but that's exactly how far you need to go to be King George. Now for Angelica, she sings one of my favorite songs, Satisfied. Ugh, oh, love it. I cast Carmen. If you never heard of Carmen, Carmen has a really like soulful and just melodic and beautiful voice, and she can also rap. She's the total package. She, I mean, she was meant to be in Hamilton. Angelica, Peggy, Eliza, what? Now moving on to Eliza, I cast Kirsty from Pentatonix. Kirsty literally relies on her voice to do everything in her band because, you know, they are acapella. So I think she's got a pretty good handle on how to sing well. And I mean, what more could you ask for in an Eliza? Really talented singer, actress, maybe. She was in theater when high school, I think. Anyways. She'd be great. So Thomas Jefferson and Lafayette are played by the same person and for that role I cast Nice Peter. Just for some reason the first, very first time I was listening to the Lafayette songs, I was just picturing Nice Peter like, oh, ni this has to be Nice Peter. This is Nice Peter. This is Nice Peter in an epic rap battle of history. All right, I'm gonna try to do that fast rap part. I've literally never attempted this, so let's see how it goes. Everyone give it up for America's favorite fighting for Lafayette! I'm taking this host of the brains, making red coats, better than blood stains. Daystorm. What's up, world? Now, once again, before Daystorm was a big biter, he was a YouTuber that I used to watch a lot. I think Daystorm would be a great Aaron Burr because he just seems like he could be that misunderstood, you know, disgruntled 
political figure. He can rap, he can sing. I mean, he's gone through a lot. Have you listened to his Ear Biscuit with Red and Link? He's, he's been through it. He's been, he's been through it. So he could just channel that into his performance as Aaron Burr, the asshole. And finally, for the role of Alexander Hamilton, I cast... Watsky! That's right, I cast George Watsky as Hamilton. It took me a lot of deliberation to decide between if Nice Peter should be Hamilton or if Watsky should be Hamilton or if Watsky should be Lafayette because of the fast rap parts. I thought about that a lot. And the reason that I cast Watsky as Hamilton is because of that part in The World Was Wide Enough. The World Was Wide Enough is a song where two characters of the play duel each other and there is a part in the middle where it's just Hamilton basically doing spoken word. I don't know if you've ever seen Watsky perform spoken word in person, but it's like life changing. I mean, you're just like hypnotized by this guy. He's got so much passion and talent and flow and it like that alone decided my casting of him as Hamilton. So there you go, that's my casting of Hamilton with YouTubers. I hope you agree. If you didn't agree, you're wrong. I'm just kidding. Write it in the comments below which ones you would switch out and who you would cast. Also, tell me your favorite song from Hamilton. Right now, currently, I switch around, but I think right now my favorite one is Satisfied. Also, I wanted to give a shout out to my friend Lewis, who is running a Kickstarter to create a crocheting website tutorial sort of thing. Let me read the description on his Kickstarter. A full multimedia website and kit to teach how to crochet to even the most yarn challenged individuals for free. So Lewis makes these cute little YouTuber crochet things. He made one of me, which I still haven't gotten. Lewis. His channel is Louis Loops and he's been on my channel. We did the chicken nugget challenge. Go share it with people who you think would love to learn to crochet. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye. So here you see two pieces of bread. For a sandwich, you put stuff in between the bread and then you put the bread together and then mash it down. Not too hard. You don't want to squish anything. But just mash it down and then take it like so and insert into your mouth this way. Not, not this way, you're crazy if you do that. Not this way, no, this way.